All right, so this is Stipe from Unique Chrysler, and this is going to be the ultimate duo battle Charger versus Challenger. Now, I did do a video with Challenger versus Charger, and I talked about the differences between the exact same scat packs. They were both destroyer gray Challenger and Chargers, and I did a video explaining the differences and the main differences between the two. Now, today I'm going to be doing a Hellcat Challenger in the Go Mango and the Pitch Black Hellcat Charger over here. These cars are extremely, they look amazing and it's a beautiful day to do a video on these two, two cars because the sun is just hitting them perfectly right now. And I just love the way they look. I'm going to do a quick walk around the two here. As you can see, Hellcat they are both brand new 2017s, 707 horsepower, now something to keep in mind on a 2017 Challenger and Charger actually what's different is this back emblem actually now they have the Hellcat logo next to it as before they did not same goes for the charger down here in the bottom right of the trunk you have the exact same the Hellcat symbol just like they do on the side now otherwise the 2017s are pretty much the same there's not like a huge difference I know I think I saw in the 2018s the pictures that I've been seeing they're gonna put the Hellcat emblem as well on the front of both of them but for now it just says SRT, which kind of makes sense. I mean, most people are probably wondering, like, what the heck, you know? Um, what's the? A lot of people, when you see a SRT uh, 392 parked next to this thing, the only difference most people would really point out is the hood, or I guess the Hellcat logo on the side. But looking at it from the front, really, the only thing that you could really point out the difference on this charger is the hood. So now putting that emblem with the Hellcat face on the side, there will uh, definitely give people a better idea that it is a Hellcat. Now obviously they are equipped with the exact same six pin brimbos in the front, same brimbos in the back. This is pitch black, the color, this is Go Mango. This Go Mango looks actually really nice. I like it a lot on the Challenger. I'm not sure how it would look on the Charger, but like from a distance this Charger looks amazing in this, or this Challenger looks amazing in this color show you but that all blacked out charger looks really cool too so now obviously chargers at least in Canada chargers are more expensive they're about four thousand dollars more expensive than the Challenger so the window sticker on this here is about eighty one thousand right around there the window sticker on this here is about let's see here eighty four thousand uh, eighty five actually if you round so obviously, you know, a charger for some reason in all the models is always a little more expensive. And I never really quite understood why that was. However, the same rims are also on both of them. They're the exact same. There's no difference with a charger or a challenger. Now, these, I mean, the platform is the same pretty much. It's just the body that comes, comes different major, majority of the time. You do get a little bit more back seat space in the back here. Long, I'll show you the seats all the way back, but you do get a little more seat space in the back. Yes, this you can get heated seats also in the back, as you can see. Yeah, it's not too bad back here. But yeah, no, th this is the one feature that I like about the Charger. I guess if you're looking a Charger Hellcat, I guess you could consider an everyday great everyday driver not really great but I mean it would be better than the Challenger most definitely it's just kind of more spacious because the console comes out more at you I guess in the Challenger this is more face towards you which I will show you afterwards but the gauges are red in both of them however the gauges are different in the Challenger I like the interior of the Challenger actually better this is a little more spacious but I do like this and I have obviously as well there it's the SRT Hellcat symbol again and auto you can get a challenger in uh, manual but you can't get the charger in uh, manual unfortunately it's too bad but yeah you do have the paddle shifts which respond amazing with this eight speed 
automatic sunroof this has a sunroof as well this is an automatic challenger actually I thought if I was gonna do a review I should probably go with the two most similar ones I could probably find and this is an unlocking give me one second here I got two actually I got four red keys today with me it's not every day that happens Guys, I was just trying to figure out why the key I had the wrong key. I couldn't figure out why it wasn't opening. But here you go. As you can see, the interior much more different. These gauges, I don't know, something about them just pop more to me. I guess it's the font too. I like a little bit better. The steering wheel though, exactly the same. Paddle shifter is exactly the same. Shift and knob. Everything is the exact same except for really this angles towards you and this. And obviously the vents are a little bit different as you can see focus quite really but yeah I know this is pretty much how they look on the inside of the challengers they're all the same singles for the chargers actually same leather seats are in the charger as well but as you can see the back seat is kind of a little bit more tight it's not much tighter but it is a little bit more tight um, as far as emergency brake goes it's down here I know for the manual a lot of people don't like that that's there they're like, why isn't there a, a handbrake? No, because quite honestly, this is a true muscle car, and old muscle cars normally didn't come with the handbrake. I mean, you no, know, the old Challengers didn't, the old Chargers didn't either. But these, these are, I guess, a great representation of what true American muscle is. They're big, heavy cars, a lot of power, and I mean, for a full-size sedan, this car goes especially the Charger, I, I have to say. I mean, there's a lot of coupes, obviously, that are quicker than a Challenger. However, a four-door sedan, this is one of the fastest out there. Uh, I mean, it was the fastest out there when it came out, and uh, there's no surprise why. I mean, 707 horsepower is a lot. I know guys who come in, though, afterwards, and they go to dyno their cars a week after they got it, and they go to me, well, there's more horsepower than that. And I believe it. I do believe it because... Um, you know, I'm sure FCA kind of limits that, but the bare minimum is probably 707 horsepower. Now, let's fire one of these up. I'm not sure which one. Okay, it's going to be this one. So let's hear the Challenger fire up. You'll hear the difference now in exhaust notes as well. So here we go. Challenger. Challenger. Now we will go to the Charger here. similar yeah the engine like tone and everything is the same but to me there is a little bit of a different like I don't know it, it's almost like I feel like the Challenger is a little bit deeper and the Charger is a little bit higher in the pitches it, it's just like I think from a distance you would hear the Charger better but when you're close up you feel the Challenger's vibration a little bit more now obviously the exhaust system is probably a little bit differently set up on the two cars probably just changes the tone a little bit but it might be hard to tell in the video that or on this mic that there is a difference but definitely when you're standing here i can definitely tell the difference that people do talk about in their exhaust note um i mean that might be just me but uh there definitely is a difference without a doubt so you guys these two cars once more it's pretty windy out here sorry about that As far as the hood goes, the hood setups are the same on the two. I mean, um, the, the I guess the difference here too is the Challenger is missing a light bulb there, as you can see. 
Now that's obviously for the intake supercharger. This does not need that because it has a little bit of a more wide open Gorilla, I'm guessing. But yeah, that would be one of the things. I mean, I know at the dealership here at Unique Chrysler, we always get people going, oh my God, it's missing a light bulb. And no, it's not. It's just, uh, it's just the way it came from the factory. And uh, yeah, you can take out the other side light bulb too and use that as an intake. I know guys do that very commonly. Over 1400 horsepower I'm looking at right now. Alright guys, this is Steve from 